Oh man, it, it's a it's a weird way to answer the question, but in all honesty, um, we were just excited to go home. I think I was the very <laughs> last actor to work. Okay. You know, people leave because of scenes. You never shoot in order, also, yeah. so it's not like the whole cast wrap at the same time. Yeah. I had a second unit stunt day, okay. so it was just me running around, and I think I had a fight. Um, but you've been working away from home for about seven months, yeah. so you're just looking forward to. To getting home to your own bed, to your loved ones, yeah. to my dogs, and yeah, halfway through, you're you're talking about the end of the movie and yeah. well, the end of the an era and how amazing this journey's been. But towards month seven, you're just mm. like, I want to go home. <laughs> and I think we all knew that there were years ahead of us, you know, to promote these movies, and so it didn't really. F yes, filming was over, mm -hmm. but. Losing the wig and the contacts in that moment was not devastating. <laughs> and I think the only sad thing, you know, the thing that makes us feel, I think the, the hardest thing to part from is, would be our cast and the fans. And we knew we would still see each other and we knew we had years to still sort of, you know, hang out with the fans and interact with them. And so it didn't feel like we yeah. were really saying goodbye. Now it does. Uh -huh. Now we're starting to feel sad. I hope I'm not bringing anything up. No, we're gonna have no tears. It's okay. Today. We're we've been talking about it all day. It's it's hard. It's it's you know it's hard to comprehend. Oh, my mom's cooking. I mean, Thanksgiving yeah. cooking is the best. I'm looking forward to that this Thanksgiving. <laughs> I miss it. Yeah, I guess Thanksgiving is great, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm a vegetarian. Um, I don't know, maybe a mac and cheese Ooh. or something like that. I have a huge sweet tooth, so oh. if anyone wants to bake, go for it. <laughs> Pass it along. Kellen said that once about gummy bears, and he gets a lot of gummy bears, so I'm trying oh. it now to just see if maybe, I don't know, someone will deliver a brownie or something. Did you get one of those huge gummy bears? I did. I've gotten oh. quite a few of them, actually. But the biggest thing I've gotten to date is the giant gummy worm. Oh. This thing is gigantic. Oh, okay. Like it's so many bite marks from my late night cravings and it's really unbelievable that all he has to do is say he likes gummy bears and, and it's like it. he's said, got them like, for life you know pound or something <laughs> like pound. Dollars pounds. Uh, dollars. paul mcdonald you know yeah i'm married so it's hard to say <laughs> i uh both Rob and Kellen are such great guys and have such great qualities, different mm -hmm. qualities, you know, and um, I think, you know, for, for different reasons, I think they're, they would both make great, you know, other halves to someone. Um, Kellen and I have a lot in common right now oh. in particular because we're both, um, I, I used to be a really heavy smoker, to be honest, and about three years ago I quit, and that was oh, actually wow. a really interesting turning point while we were filming because yeah. it sort of changed who I was hanging out with and what I was doing because I needed inspiration for myself yeah. and so Kellen and I spent a lot more time together because he was helping me with my fitness and oh, okay. and so I think to this day we still sort of connect over that and he motivates me and um but yeah they're both wonderful but I love my husband <laughs> <laughs> good answer yeah <laughs> I don't know if I want anything supernatural. I oh. think about this a lot because, you know, obviously we get asked, you know, if we could have someone else's power, what would it be? You know, and I just, I don't know. I get freaked out about the idea of, like, reading people's minds. I mean, who wants oh. to do that? And, you know, seeing into the future, like, God, I already have enough anxiety. I don't need that. <laughs> um, I just, I don't know. Kellen sometimes. I, yeah, I, I would love Jaspers because yeah, I think if one. you could be a, if you could change moods, mm -hmm. the world would be an amazing place to live. There'd be peace around the world. You would, everyone would be happy and loving, and I think yeah. that's what's lacking in our, in our world. So if I had to choose, yeah, I wouldn't want to know the future because then it's not fun to live it, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't want to hear people's thoughts because, not everyone has positive thoughts. Yeah. But if I could change everyone's mood to positive, uplift, uplifting, happy ones, it'd be amazing. I love that answer. You kind of can. You kind of do. I try my best. <laughs> Smile you just got to share those pearly whites. Well, you know you've got the power of the gummy bear, so there you go. <laughs> See?